crypto craze. Is it worth it? Or a bubble waiting to burst? What if we told you that the digital coins you've been hearing about could either make you a fortune or just leave you broke? Yes, and today we're talking about just that. We'll navigate the potential profits, the risks, and yes, we'll confront the big question. Are we in a cryptocurrency bubble? Let's start from the beginning. Cryptocurrency is a type of currency that exists only in the digital world. That means there are no physical coins or notes. Everything is online. And it's built on a technology called blockchain. It's decentralized, which means no single person, no authority, not even government can control your money. Once you have complete control over your funds, which is a pretty powerful concept, and it's this technology that makes cryptocurrency incredibly secure and transparent. Today, there are thousands of different cryptocurrencies, but a few key players dominate the market. For one, of course, Bitcoin, the original cryptocurrency, which was created by an anonymous person known as Satoshi Nakamoto back in 2009. Bitcoin kind of introduced the concept of digital money to the world and has since become the largest and most well-known cryptocurrency. There's also Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency. However, Ethereum is also a blockchain platform that allows developers to build and operate smart contracts and decentralize applications. There are some newcomers as well, like Polkadot and Chainlink. Polkadot aims to enable completely decentralized web where users are in control. Chainlink, on the other hand, is a decentralized Oracle network that enables smart contracts on Ethereum to securely connect to external data sources, APIs, and payment systems. As of 2024, the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies is in the trillions of dollars. That's right and Bitcoin alone has a market cap of over a trillion dollars, making it one of the most valuable assets in the world. Ethereum, Binance Coin, and Cardano have market caps in the billions of dollars. So that's pretty much cryptocurrency. But why is everyone so obsessed with it? Why are we seeing headlines about Bitcoin and Dogecoin every other day? Well, few factors are driving this crypto craze. First, of course, the allure of the new. Cryptocurrencies are a relatively new asset class, and there's something exciting about being part of something new and groundbreaking. It's like being able to invest in the internet back in the 90s. For many people, the crypto craze is also about being part of a movement. Cryptocurrencies represent a new way of thinking about money and finance. They challenge the traditional banking system and offer a decentralized alternative. For some, investing in cryptocurrencies is a way to support this movement. Most importantly, there's the potential for high returns. We've all heard the stories. The pizza guy who tipped in Bitcoin and is now a millionaire. The teenager who invested in Ethereum with his pocket money and bought his first house before he could legally drink. These stories are indeed fascinating, inspiring, and let's be honest, a little bit envy-inducing. Yes, some people have made incredible profits from their cryptocurrency investments, but these are the exceptions, not the rule. For every crypto millionaire, I mean, there are countless others who have lost money. To make a profit from crypto, your goal is to buy when the price is low and then sell it when the price increases. Sounds pretty simple, but it's not. The crypto market is incredibly volatile. Prices can skyrocket one day and plummet the next. In timing the market that is accurately predicting when prices will go up and down is notoriously difficult. Even the most experienced traders get it wrong sometimes. But okay, let's say you get it right. Let's say you buy Bitcoin when it's worth $10,000 and then sell it when it's worth $20,000. 
That's a profit of $10,000, right? Well, not so fast. You also have to consider transaction fees, which can eat into your profits. And you might be surprised to learn that even crypto is taxable. In many countries, including the US, India, UK, and Australia, cryptocurrency is treated as property for tax purposes. This means that you're liable to pay taxes on any capital gains you make when you sell your cryptocurrency for more than you bought it for. So if you bought one Bitcoin for $10,000 and sold it later for $20,000, you'd have to pay taxes on the $10,000 gain. But what if you make a loss? Well, in some countries, you can offset these losses against other capital gains to reduce your overall tax liability. This is known as capital loss offsetting, and it can be a silver lining in an otherwise disappointing investment outcome. One question that's on everyone's mind is, are we in a cryptocurrency bubble? And if so, when will it burst? Well, some experts believe so. They argue that the prices of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum have risen far above their intrinsic value. They point to the volatile price swings, the speculative buying, and the influx of inexperienced investors as classic signs of a bubble. There are also some experts that disagree. They argue that we're not in a bubble, but rather in the early stages of a technological revolution. They believe that cryptocurrencies and the blockchain technology they're built on have the potential to disrupt entire industries, much like the internet did in the 90s. And they believe that this potential justifies the high prices we're seeing. So when will the bubble burst? That's the million dollar question, or should I say the million Bitcoin question? The truth is no one knows for sure. I mean, bubbles can last for years, and they often burst when we least expect them to. It's also possible that what we think is a bubble is actually just the beginning of a new normal, investing for beginners. All right, so you've made it this far. You understand what cryptocurrency is, you're aware of the potential profits and the risks, and you're ready to take the plunge. But where do you even start? If you're a beginner, you need a place to buy and store your cryptocurrency. This is where cryptocurrency exchanges. They are platforms where you can buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies. Some of the most popular exchanges include Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. Once you've chosen an exchange, you'll need to create an account. This usually involves providing some personal information and, of course, setting up two-factor authentication for added security. Now, onto wallets. A cryptocurrency wallet is a digital wallet where you can store your cryptocurrencies. There are two main types of wallets, if you don't know. Hot wallets and cold wallets. Hot wallets are connected to the internet and are great for easy access and trading. Cold wallets, on the other hand, are offline and are considered more secure for long-term storage. So you've got your exchange account and your wallet set up. Now comes the fun part choosing which cryptocurrencies to invest in. This is where your earlier research will come in handy. Remember, don't just follow the hype or the craze or what everybody is doing. Do your own homework. Look at the technology behind the cryptocurrency, the team behind it, and its real world applications. A pro tip here is to diversify. Consider spreading your investment across multiple cryptocurrencies to mitigate risk. If we talk about strategies, well, some investors choose to hold them. That is, buy cryptocurrency and hold on to it for a long time, hoping that the price will go up. Others prefer to trade actively, buying and selling crypto based on market trends. Now, not gonna lie, both strategies have their pros and cons, and the best one for you depends on your investment goals. Risk tolerance, and yeah, time commitment. Keep in mind, investing in crypto is not a guaranteed way to make money, but it's surely possible to make huge profits, and I mean, it's also possible to lose everything. So only invest money that you can afford to lose. Well, that's it for today. Whether you see it as a gold mine or a bubble about to burst, 
cryptocurrency is reshaping the world of finance. Question is, will you be a part of it? That's where we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on crypto? Have you invested in it? Or are you planning to? Do you think it's a bubble waiting to burst? Or do you believe in its potential? Drop your comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on 7 Financial Habits of Highly Successful Entrepreneurs. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.